the formation system in rise of kingdoms has been an absolute disaster for the game and yet lilith is adding a new way that you can spend more gems for a chance to get more armaments and i just can't fathom how they keep messing this up today we're gonna talk about it i brewed a fresh second cup of coffee oh my god now in order to understand these upcoming changes we have to take a look at two things so that way we can get a full picture of what's going on here with armaments the first thing is the face to face with the developers that was posted literally yesterday and then the second thing is the actual notes of the update that we're going to be going over in just a second but first let's just take one moment to go over the face to face with the developers the purpose of this post is that after the launch of the formation system we've received many questions from governors regarding the formation system as well as the armament system will be answered some of them in this edition of face to face with the developers and all these questions relate to formations and armaments most of which people like you and i already know because we're pretty invested in the game we watch youtube videos about this stuff and we're committed to understanding this but apparently casual players are really struggling so they say in what scenarios are formations enabled currently they're enabled in all scenarios except for arc of osiris champions olympia war of the ruins and tempest clash they're going to be adding them later do formations apply to garrison and rallied only the captain formation armaments take effect everyone else in the rally doesn't matter how do I get sages testimony currently there's five ways travel dispatch date craft side quests purchasing with gems or exchanging at the courier station armament shop we already knew that what can I do to an inscribed armament with poor attributes is recycling the only option here they're saying we will be implementing a new feature in a future update not the one that we're going to talk about today by the way that allows governors to alter the attributes of armaments in their possession to a certain degree so not fully customizable but maybe just a little bit you'll be able to use this feature to adjust the attributes of your armaments can I change the inscriptions on armaments I own you can change the inscription by inscribing it again inscribing an armament with no existing inscription inscription will grant it one since inscribing an armament will overwrite any inscription on it please compare the difference between the old and new inscriptions carefully so essentially if you have two inscriptions it will if you overwrite it you'll only be applying one new inscription so you remove the two you lose both and then you get a new one so very confusing here how are dispatches refreshed tldr is that they're not they're auto generated after a governor completes an ongoing dispatch and the remaining ones will stay there until completed and that's it that's everything that they talked about okay this is all stuff that you and i probably already knew but what's the point of this post the point is that after months of this system being in the game they're still having to address basic questions about how the system works these are very bare bones questions about what formations even do when are they used how are they used how can i do things with them how do i even get the items that i need to progress the state forum and what this tells me as a player who's been playing for years and what it should tell you and what it obviously is telling Lilith is that this is a confusing system whether it is to you or me doesn't really matter you and I you're watching this video you're not a casual player of rise of kingdoms you're looking up content on YouTube and consuming that content in your free time when you're not playing rise of kingdoms you and I are not casual players but this is for the casual people so a majority of players believe it or not in rise of kingdoms uh, are casual players who have no idea that my youtube channel exists okay millions of people have played this game have no idea that chiskel exists for example okay and that's who this is for so a vast majority of players have so many questions about this system that's been in the game for months now that they're still sending out posts like this describing the basic fundamentals of it so what this tells us is that most players are confused by the system okay great we've established that let's move on to the update that they just announced here okay i'm not going to talk about the new alliance mobilization event i'm not that excited about this event if it comes into the game and it's good great i'm going to wait to see what it actually is when it comes in and then we'll take it from there but today we're talking about formations specifically okay and here they're talking about optimization so they're adding the ability to travel with jet travel with gems once you've used up all your chances to travel using action points you can spend gems to travel up to 200 additional times per day so the most amount of times that you can travel without gems is 20. that's currently what it is right now you have to get at least state forum 24 level 24 in order to get 20 of them and now once you've done all 20 for the day you can then spend gems to do it 200 more times keep in mind a majority of the rewards that you get from traveling are what we see uh, over here okay you're getting a small amount of resources maybe some five minute speed ups or an hour maybe some sage testimonies you're gonna get a lot of blue stuff here 
I don't know if I've ever I've gotten maybe a hand small handful of some of the legendary armaments here but even when you get them they're mostly siege gold gathering speed March speed stuff that you don't care about damage to barbarians right so first of all I would never spend gems to travel the travel system is horrendous value the fact that we're even spending AP for it is shocking and I have to click through those stupid cutscenes, bro I timed it it takes 10 seconds to click through one of those cutscenes. I even tried quitting out the game to see if it would be faster to relaunch the game and just get my reward unfortunately relaunching on my computer takes about 20 seconds so I'm forced to just click through the cutscene that I've seen 400 times that none of you have read and I haven't read either because nobody cares and it costed me 20 AP and I got garbage but now you can spend gems here okay so what does that mean well first of all free to play players low spenders don't do it it's not worth it but if you're a whale well now you have 200 additional chances to get a legendary armament or even a decent epic armament with an inscription so who's more likely to get good armaments a player who can do this 20 times a day for free assuming they got it to level 20 the the city stay formed at 24 which a lot of you haven't I haven't or the pay to win player who is already buying the bundles and now can gem their way 200 more of these inscriptions who was asking for this this does not solve any of the problems that this system has literally nothing is solved and in fact it only makes it worse because now people who are spending money can get more armaments faster on a daily basis now granted it's horrible value depending on how many gems I mean if it's one gem like fine but if it's a hundred gems or so like it makes no sense to do that okay but the, the updates not it's not done okay let's keep reading here okay added new windfalls every time you travel you have a chance to earn luck the higher your luck the higher your chance of encountering a windfall when you travel there's a limit to how much luck you can earn a day and your luck resets every day okay so they're adding a new mechanic to the travel system that they're already revamping to a formation system that we've already established with the face to face with the developers is confusing to a majority of players or at least a significant amount of players for them to send this notice to all the players in the game so in what world does adding a luck system to an already complicated system improve that system now now to understand this better okay a windfall is basically an unexpected large amount of treasure that's what they're saying here so essentially every day when you travel you'll have a chance to earn luck so this is this is rng by the way this is not like an, an just general improvement it's a random number this luck cannot accumulate over time it's not like this is going to be good for free to play players who they can save luck over time and eventually get a big reward no this resets every day and there's a limit to how much you can get however when you accumulate enough luck you get a windfall which essentially works like a pity system so if you've played Genshin Impact for example or Tower of Fantasy which we've played on this channel you would summon a certain amount and after 80 summons or 120 summons or whatever you would essentially either be guaranteed to get a certain rarity uh character or weapon or you would be get given like a 50 50 right that's how it works in Genshin where you either get the banner character or you get some other character of that rarity that's essentially what this windfall is going to be if you accumulate enough luck and get lucky I guess then you're going to get a windfall now they don't tell us what this is okay is a windfall a legendary armament is it an inscription is it some amount of this currency here or the superior currencies over here what well, we don't know what this windfall is and that's one of the things that Lilith is so bad at doing they're so they're, they're, they they talk about new things in the game and then they leave us to speculate about these new things until they come into the game now look there's a chance that this could be good for the formation system there's a chance okay but let me just ask you guys how you feel about Lilith's track record to fix problems like this they added this bullet point right after saying that they're adding a new pay to win aspect to an already pay to win system that nobody understands based on the post that they put on the notice board in the game how is this making this this formation system any better this formation system has been a disaster since day one even the whales are not happy about this system because it's so random and then the way that they're attempting to solve this is adding two more slot machine pulls per day for gems by the way and then they added an rng pity system it's not even a guaranteed pity system because there's only a chance to get it and there's a limit and it resets every day 
That's the worst pity system I've ever heard. How is that even a pity system? What even is this, Lilith? Whose idea was this? Yo, somebody's got to get fired. I got I just got to say it. Someone's got to get fired. It, this is so bad. And then down here for the armaments update, it's just a bunch of like optimizations for descriptions and icons and stuff, which we desperately need, by the way. But we need to figure out how to make this system good for the game before we figure out how the graphics look. Okay. For full transparency, okay, as obviously I spend in this game, um, I have max purchased this Triumvirate Treasures bundle, I think maybe once or twice. And then during a recharge event, I bought the five and ten dollar bundle, and that's it. There was a limited time bundle that came around that you could max purchase up to three times. It was a hundred dollar tier. I think Chiskel showed it on his channel. I did not buy that bundle at all. And since this system came into the game, I've actually been spending less money on other bundles in the game. Okay. I have not spent any money on crystal tech this entire KVK. This KVK is over in seven days and my alliance actually won despite me not doing anything because of other reasons. I didn't get my crystal research center to 24. I didn't buy any of the pop-up bundles this KVK. The only crystal tech thing that I purchased was the premium season crystal supply this is five dollars I didn't even buy the premium crystal quest thing okay I spent five dollars on this entire kbk and usually I buy this and all the pop-up bundles and to be very direct the reason I'm spending less in rise of kingdoms is because this system is garbage it's garbage there's no there's no upside to the system whatsoever I've not heard a single person say that they enjoy the formation system no one's actually happy about this system at best people are passive about this system meaning they're participating in it and they're maybe buying bundles because they feel like they have to in order to continue to be at the highest tier of the game but no one's actually enjoying the system it's way too random it is very punishing and a majority of what you get is trash it's all it's mostly just garbage and I'm not willing to spend thousands of dollars on this system which means I'm not going to be able to participate at the highest levels of the game and if I'm not going to be able to do that why spend money on the other bundles in the game it's pointless I might as well just save my money sit back and either wait for them to fix the formation system and make it functional and playable and reasonable or I'll just keep buying my 30 day gem supply until the game dies like that's pretty much where I'm at at this point because it's no longer worth spending money on a system like this it's literally so bad but great news boys you can spend more gems on it now if you want let's go as a final thought I hope the windfall thing is good okay I hope that th this this somehow gives us good value for free to play players but ultimately this update doesn't really address anything that players are concerned about the system is still extremely confusing as we saw from yesterday's face to face with the developers and I don't I just don't know what I don't know what Lilith is doing they've made a very successful mobile game this is one of the highest grossing mobile games in the past couple of years it's a very good game the, fu the fundamentals of rise of kingdoms are exceptionally good no one is denying that the open field fighting the wars kvks there's a lot to love about this game and so it's confusing to me that such a talented team would come up with such a horrible system like I, I don't know but uh when this update uh comes live then what they're gonna do is give you a feedback form and they're gonna give you a free gift if you fill out that feedback form within five days I highly recommend that everybody gives your feedback on this system when it does come into the game when you get that in-game mail at the very bottom there will be a link give them your feedback on the formation system and on this update in general not only will you get something for free but you'll at least get to tell the developers and Lilith how you actually feel I always do this I always fill out the feedback form because I know that th these videos probably aren't reaching the people that really need to see them but my honest feedback is that I'm literally spending less money on rise of kingdoms in general because this system is garbage with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it we can spread the word get more people to submit their feedback comment down below your thoughts on the changes to the formation system are you excited for the windfalls and hopefully the pity system is good or do you think that spending more gems on the system is horrible I would love to hear from you down below subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace